Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can install Influx TV. Although I had a session before uh, about uh, the, how you can install Influx TV, and I will drop the link below, then you can find it and watch that video. But in this video, the target is there to explain again from zero until end and also cover some questions which you guys ask me in the channel. So if you're interested, please stay with me. Let's get us started. First, we would need uh, to find out about the version of the Influx DB, which is uh, Influx DB2. And just you need to search in Google then mm, you can click on the get a start with influx db version 2 and it will navigate to this page so in the left side you can find it mentioned influx db in install influx db click on upgrade and click on influx db 2.x then you will find the the some environment like a Mac, Linux, and Windows, Docker. So my case is Windows. I'm going to find the Windows and install Influx DB and again Windows. Scroll down, you will find the file of the influx db click on this file and download the zip file of the influx db okay and now already it has downloaded and let's jump to my file let me okay it's here and I'm going to extract this file. Okay. And then after you extract the influx TV file, you need to open up this file and then you will find the three files look like this. So we would need to go to CMD command and then influx d.exe. Exe. Okay, here you go. 8086 is a port, and I'm going to Host eighty eighty six. Okay, now you can see that uh, welcome to Influx TV. Get a start, and I'm defining one username and also the password. and organization i and also bucket perfect and then we have this api i'm going to copy this api because i need this api Okay, then click start. Here you go. Now you already connected uh, to 
Influx TV. Okay, now there was some questions if I cannot find my password or I don't know uh, the user and so on then what is the alternative solution actually there are two ways one way is with the API another way is that you may say that okay totally I forgot everything I didn't copy anything I have no API if you have no API and you forgot your password, uh, so the only way is that uh, to delete all the um, the files which you already installed and then uh, reinstall somehow again. This is this is the the, the the way which you can do, and I'm explaining. But I'm not recommending this for this way because this is not the proper way for uh, production. It just only um, the 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 solution which you really have not API. So the solution is that you need to uh, uh, come to this C, which is the default drive and uh, the user folder in Flux DB V two. So this folder, you will find such this files, and then you would need to delete them. And after, oh, sorry, before that, you need to, let me get rid of this. I need to shut down the server. And yeah. Then you need up and running the server again and come here again. You will see it got back to initial initial stage and then let me define everything. This is the way which you can oh, I need to okay. So quick start. This is this is the way which you can uh, define your username and password from initial stage. The second way is very straightforward you may forgot uh, your password but you know that what is your username in that case you have to uh, use the cli command of the influx db so again let's get back to influx db exactly uh, this part which you uh, download already has downloaded the file for influx db you can scroll down and you can select your environment and also come to influx db command line interface click on this part and come to this part as a download and install influx cli so for my case is windows i am downloading this file okay after you have downloaded this file then you would need to come here which before already has downloaded that file for me and just I'm going to extract this file here okay 
and after you have uh, extracted the file you would navigate to this folder and you will see such these files then you have to make sure your server is up and running and then another cmd here and you would need to uh, the type the command which is look like this command uh, you would need to write the influx user password and hyphen n and this is the username hyphen hyphen password and this your new password okay and then hyphen t and here you have to drop your api which now for my api is this one and i am going to drop the new api and copy all these files sorry copy this command and then Okay, fail to find. I need to check. Okay, let me try that. No, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Mm, my bad. Uh, the username was. I made a mistake. The username is not admin. Mm, this is this is a problem. Okay, here you go. You see the password already successfully updated. So we will get back and let me try my previous password. Yeah, it doesn't work. New password. Here you go. Now the password is updated with this solution. Thank you for watching this video. If you think this video was helpful, please don't forget to like button and support me. And if you have any question, please drop your question in comment below. Definitely, I will get back to you. Thank you again and see you in next one.